short video explaining the path of the Mediacom cable that is at Wallace U Plaza. It comes in from the uh, geothermal room that is upstairs that has yet to have a label. It will soon. So right now it's just the geo room. And it will go into a four-way amp. It is also powered by a coax cable and it, will ha it has four splitters on it. One of which will go to the C units, um, which that actual path can stay in the geo room to a splitter. It will go to a three-way splitter because we will have three units dispersed above the bank building in the C building. The second path, uh, we actually means we'll have to have run a few more cables. This path is red. It will go to the north. It will go up. It will run to a splitter, which can also stay in the geo room if we so choose. And mount there. One line needs to run to B201, and one line needs to run to A201. Both of those are short lines, so that all can be split inside the geo room. South are the next two. We need to have one that is this pink line here that will run down the hallways to another amp. The reason for this amp is because of the distance on this. This has a one way in, one way out amp. It will need a power plug. Um, then it will go to a short two way splitter and then it will run to apartment A210 which is one of the furthest units in the building and then also 706. This actually goes down through the shaft that is by the HVAC unit all the way to the basement and then it goes from one basement and connects to the existing basement at 706 building. So that line may eventually need to be ran, but is that's, that's how we have to get that amp down there so it's powered. The other line will also run south, go down the same hallway to a two-way splitter, and can just go to B209 and B210. purpose for this, again, is just to show the layout of how that will need to run. Um, again, the, the amperage here, this amp never used to exist, but was splitting in so many ways. The uh, all the units will need that, particularly when we had those three units right there for the C units that don't exist yet, and as of right now in 2016. But when they do, um, that amp should be sufficient to power all of those units. If worst case scenario, we have to add amps, we can do that on any one of those particular lines.